In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to calculate averages within a spreadsheet. So here we have a very basic sales spreadsheet. So let's say we want the average of the team members' sales over January. So the first way you'd do this, so what you could do, you could highlight all the cells, then come up to Insert, and then select Average. And as you can see below, the average will be given in B7. However, as you can see, this will not be in the right box for us. What we need to do is quickly delete that. Where we would want our average is in B9. So you'd highlight the box, B9. Then you press the equals sum on your keyboard. This will bring up the function box. And then you want to type in average. Then you want to select open bracket. Now again, you want to highlight the cells which we want the average of. So we'll select all of January sales. And then you can tick the green tick box here or press enter on the keyboard. Now as you can see, the average is created. We'll neaten this up by going over to text, putting it into the middle here. Now again, you don't have to press equals and then type out average. So we'll just X that away. So what you want to do, if you see when you hover over B9, you see this little yellow symbol here pop up. Then you want to click and hold this little yellow symbol and drag it through the spreadsheet. And as you can see, this auto populates February and March average sales. So if we double click February, as you can see, it's also populated the correct cells. Now when you double click into a function, we can change it so we can make this incorporate more of the sales. So we'll take in all the sales and then you can press enter and that'll give you the average of all the yearly sales. However, we'll just copy that little yellow box again into that cell to change it back to just February. However, let's say we want the average sales of the whole of the year. What you need to do is click in any box that you want it to be in and press the equals key and this will bring up the function box. And then you want to type in average. Then we want to highlight all the cells and then you want to press the green tick box or enter. And this will give you the total overall average of the sales. And that is how to work out averages on Apple Numbers. Hope you found that useful. And if you did, we have plenty more videos like this in our playlist.